Today we got an interesting deck here with Azor's Control taking down the MTGO standard event or challenge going first place here and I'm excited to cover this list by our friend Oscar Franco. So thank you for tuning in as always. We got a fun one here down below you'll find the timestamps where I cover the strategy objective of this list. We'll talk about your boarding for best of three. We'll go play that competitive magic in both best of one and best of three here today, as we always do, and pull it all back together. Now, if you happen to have a question or comment throughout the episode, do let me know and feel free to come say hi and swing by the Discord server in the community there. So thank you for tuning in. As always, let's get moving here because we got a few things to get through for this list. So here's what we got going on. <clears throat> Finally, a really, really nice rendition of Azorus Control, leveraging a lot of key pieces here, um, particularly Sunfall um, coming at us from March the Machine. Additionally, we do get access in the sideboard to Chrome Host Seed Shark, which is also a very, very nice card um, and something that is very, very powerful. But I like how we have it not in the main board, but in the sideboard and adjust around depending on what we're playing. Now, a couple key pieces here. We obviously have our lay down arms, a great removal card up front. Then in the two drop slot, we're getting thinning with ambition, ambitious farmhand, a very popular card um, when it comes to white and anything control right now and even mid range, um, giving you a lot of ability um, to go dig for that turn three and continue to ramp for answers, which is very powerful. Soul partition, giving you some delay, hard counter with make disappear here thirst to go find memory deluge to go find and obviously we get that ability with flashback to go again and then ultimately planeswalkers these things are going to be the key things that are going to take you home um to fury here a lot of people forget about but this thing gives you a 2-2 spirit creature token with vigilance whenever you draw a card put a plus one plus one pairs well with this and thirst for discovery um again very powerful to be able to do that and you obviously get uh draw with him as well ability to exile here and here and then as well as make those tokens um, and do some very very powerful things um, with this list obviously that reset so a very very healthy pairing here um, in terms of how you're going to manage your planeswalkers in terms of how you're going to kind of bring things home and close the match um, really at that top end now <clears throat> A strategy objective of this list is to really slow down your opponent on the early game, find those answers that you're going to need to either reset the board or single target, then get those creature tokens in there and hammer on home to close out the match. Um, again, really a late game list, so a lot of trading early game and mid-range, and then taking it home later and gaining that advantage, particularly through the draw, getting the answers, always being able to outplay your opponent and controlling the match. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about the sideboard. We break that down three ways, aggro, mid-range, and late game. Aggro list here, things to think about. I like Chrome Host here. Again, having that body is gonna be real big. You may wanna consider Destroy Evil. Um, depending on what they're playing, if they continue to build board over time, if you're playing enchantment list, that can be a good one as well. Sunset Revelry, also a good one to flip in. This is going to give you some more survival to go dig for wipes. And then Temporary Lockdown just absolutely wipes the board. Um, so those are a lot of key things there. Then as we move into mid-range, um, mid-range you're going to want to consider again Destroy Evil potentially, Sunset Revelry again potentially. They're not really creature focused. Then we'll start to think about Stainful Stroke and the game. Gates, maybe Chrome, Chrome Host Seed Shark, Hull Breaker could be an option for you um, as well, depending on what they are exactly um, playing in terms of more of their, their spells that are not creatures. Lastly, when we get to control or late game list, um, again, Mirror Match as an example, um, or Zaf Control one that we just ran, a couple things that you can throw in there, Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Chrome Host could be an option again, because um, that gives you some options to play around with the incubators. Hull Breaker, because this thing can't be countered. Um, and then if you can continue to manage counter against this thing, um, we'll put you in a good spot. Destroy evil against enchantments if you run into that as well. So those are kind of what I would consider in terms of your boarding actions. Um, here, you're going to move out what you don't need, primarily really in these two slots, 
um, maybe some stuff at the top end depending on the on what you're playing but that's going to give you access to a good 8 to 12 cards there to really focus and, and hone in on what you need to be boarding in all right so again this is the Zorus control list taking down the mtgo standard challenge here going first um, by our friend oscar franco all right let's go ahead and play some competitive magic here uh, with this list here today all right if you like control we got plenty of control for you here let us see how this goes for us here today King Orca. <laughs> All right, we got Soul Partition, we got Deluge, we got Pilgrim. No hard, hard early game removal, but we'll keep this. And I like access to all the colors, so we can get to four and dig. So we got some decent options here for surviving. We are not first, though. It's going to depend on how King Orca comes out swinging here. Well, they're choosing. They're still choosing. There we go. All right, keep seven. Let's go here. Ooh, there we go. Also got that next turn. There we go. I like to look at the sleeves. Uh oh, poor color. Domain list, my friends. Domain list. We will take action. Grab our planes. Now, this would be a list. We would want. Encounter magic. We'll keep thinning. There we go. There's our four. So, good news here. We can do this. And do this. Grab a land. Now we will have the theory here soon, which will be good. I'll try this again. <laughs> Now we could pop that. Um, I think we do this again. There we go. Oh, we got a nice one here. Let's see if we can get them in. Sake of the future, up. I will defend the past. Here we are. Even I don't know everything about chronomancy. There is much the past can teach us.
Dun dun dun. <clears throat> now we don't have counter spell, which hurts pretty badly. We don't have the right mana, should drop that. Ooh, not enough on that either. Um <laughs> it's not seven. Seven. One, two, three. Oh, the close six. We can hit it with two. Let's go dig. We do have a make this appear here and a thirst. Could grab the ley line. We're okay with that though. Now control versus domain. We don't have hard counter, which is too bad. <laughs> Alright. This thing we can get rid of though. Discard two cards. One, two. Now we can do that. We can do this. We can flash. A few things we can do. We'll wait on it. <clears throat> See what they play. Dig. Do it. We've got this. And let's grab that for now. Now they have that again, and they have this here. So we need to do it. Few things. The entire multiverse is at stake. I won't back down. Who is that handsome devil? There we 
go. I'll probably kick. That's what they'll do. for us there. Oh. Gotta get our board in. Gotta get our board in place. Thirty-four versus thirty-one. Seven it is. Not enough on the block there. Another Atroxa. We're at 27, we're at 27. to hit. I don't think so. I think we'll counter that. Intense one on one, always. Oh, and we have this problem here, as always. Yeah. 
going to be able to do. They have their own exile. We also are really out <laughs> of wipes. So we got, I think, three. We've used them all. <laughs> oh, problematic here. Classification, there you go. What are they gonna try and lock down here? Alright, my turn. stuff I like they're on their deck list now. I think this will be a quick one. You're coming with me. There we go. See what they're going after. Ooh. We can hit the domain here though. We are tapped out though, with, with no more wipes, <laughs> except we do have the Eternal Wander <clears throat> that we can use to wipe the board. So, gonna be interesting. They also have 17, we got 23 cards. Buddy, again. <clears throat> Try not to miss me. Ooh, they went for it. They went for it. Can we get? One more of the big wanders. We do have one left. We do have one left. We could try this, we could try that. Absolutely need to hit. Absolutely need to hit, which is what did not happen. <laughs> so we have that, and we got a Tapiri. We have laid down arms. That's not gonna help. And we don't get a board wipe. We have lethal. We didn't hit anything. Oh. Oh. No wipe. No wipe. 
<laughs> Such a match again. These control matches for me just do go on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> All right, on to our best of three here. Here we go. Pretty much saw that whole deck too, by the way. I didn't have anything I could play. Certainly should let them play it out. <clears throat> but that's okay. Alright, Burn Star it is. What do we have here? We got a Wander. We got a Bounce. I'm gonna mulligan. Alright, keep this. Not as good, but much we can do. Thin, thin. Control versus control again, probably, huh? When I win, control you're telling Lily. me what yeah. you know about the game. <laughs> Off you go. Can't get rid of that yet. I'm tired of your secrets. Can't hit it with that yet, either, which is too bad. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. counter is the question. There it is. I'm tired of your secrets. us big time and they got us oh on to the next one not enough against dimmer here all right so something a little bit different here um we will need to soul partitions good we need to move forward some of these things a little bit differently Grab Seed Shark. 
grab the gate, let's grab the stain pole, let's grab hull, survive abilities. Lay down arms is a little slow for us. Um, soul partition's helpful. I still get it back in. Let's drop that for now. We'll keep the thin, we'll keep those. A little bit more on the hard counter. <clears throat> we'll see if we can make it through. Not as much on the board reset. Not great start, but a little bit of that. Here comes Dress. Our only opportunity to get Hellbreaker. Oh, no creature, right? Yeah, not a creature. Hit it with this. We'll take the pseudo. Click the wrong thing. My judgment is final. We'll see. Do we survive? Strike hard. Three. We can kill the one one. <clears throat> we'll still have our disdainful stroke available for us. Not quite at the hull breaker yet. This is a juicy secret. There's the one on that. Good news is we still got our second one. <clears throat> Ooh, smell fierce. Oh, oh, oh. No cost is too oh. well, Good news you is we can do this. this We can do this. And we can do this. We've got the edge. Do they have a kill fight. spell? <laughs> Will be the question. There it is. A sea shark. Bomber. 
and we don't have the board wipers. <laughs> Always glad to meet the match. Now, what do we have here? Ooh, another one. Dire times call for Here dire we go. tactics. Let's grab this again. Remember your training. Let's see. Noticed. Can we pull through here and get it to game three? Match three. My ways are not for the weak. No slip on me this time. Not gonna happen. Fine. I still have much to learn. Now this is a juicy secret. Playing this now so I can go grab a land. Oh, our That's what <laughs> we're hurting. We are hurting. Their lower cost counters are painful for us here. And they got way more in the hand than we currently do, which is a sad thing. Now, we do have Hole Breaker in, could be in play here in a minute. We'll see what happens. Can't counter it, it can kill it though. Let's see, I'm assuming they're going to have a kill spell here. We don't have any gain No gain life. There it is. Oh, painful. Painful. We have gotten blown out on all of our counter stuff today <laughs> and and yesterday as well counter 
control is not my forte, at least the last two days. All right, there we go. All right, we'll collect that coin, collect that experience nonetheless. All right, so this deck, <clears throat> again here, was a standard MTGO challenge winner going down first with, by Oscar Franco. Um, unfortunately, did not run as well for us here today, but that is how it goes. I do like this list. You could see some of the challenges that we ran into on the lower end of the curve and some of the counter magic. We did try and move that in, but our opponent on the dimmer list had a little bit more lower ended curve stuff to be able to get to where they needed to and hold us at bay. I don't really think if we would have kept those sunfalls in there, we would have been able to make the dent that we needed to. Um, if we could have got more negates, uh, some of the, also the, the slips, that would have been perfect, but it is what it is. So all in, fun session. As always, these control matches do tend to take a little bit. Um, and that is control for you in Magic the Gathering. Now, with that, thank you for tuning in. As always, appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community and to all the members, as always. Appreciate that additional support. If you happen to have a question or comment, let me know. I love to hear from you, and feel free to swing by the Discord server. Until next time, we got a ton of great Magic the Gathering content here available to you on the channel and a ton more headed your way, as always. We'll see you again soon. Mithras, out of here.